Hey guys, B2 here. Today I wanted to make a quick video on the best NVIDIA control panel settings. I have made a video like this in the past. I just wanted to make an updated version of that video. So here we go, let's get right into it. First thing you want to do, right click on your desktop, go to NVIDIA control panel. That, you want to go to adjust image settings with preview. You want to click on use my preference emphasizing. I believe it will be automatically ticked to either balanced or quality. Whichever one it is ticked to, you just want to slide it left all the way down to performance. Then you want to click apply. After that, you want to go back to using the advanced 3D image settings and then you want to click apply again. For that, you want to go to manage 3D settings. You want to copy all these settings down that I have right here. I'm going to scroll down and you can pause the video if you Okay, once you have all those settings down, you want to click apply. That you want to figure sound physics you want to click yes to this once you are here you want to go to physics settings processor and you want to change it to your nvidia graphics card i click apply for that you want to go to your resolution and you want to change your resolution under PC category to the highest resolution that is available from your monitor. If you want me to make a stretch res video, I will make one for you. Comment down below if you would like that. Once you select your resolution, you change your refresh rate to the highest refresh rate that is available to you from your monitor. After that, you want to come down here to apply the following settings, and you want to click Use NVIDIA Color Settings. You want to change your color depth to the highest. You want to change your output color depth to the highest available to you from your monitor. You want to change your color format to RGB, and you want to change your output dynamic range to full. After you have all that, you want to click Apply. After that, you want to go to just desktop color settings. The only thing you have to change here is your brightness, your contrast, your gamma, and your digital vibrance if you would like to. The only thing I recommend is putting your digital vibrance to 100% as it makes everything more colorful. As you can see by the slider. To that you want to click apply. Go down to adjust desktop size and position. If you didn't already apply your changes, you want to press yes on this. Click on scaling. After that, you want to click no scaling if you're using native 1920 by 1080 res. If you're using stretch resolution, then you want to select full screen. After that, you want to go down to form scaling on and you want to change this to display. And then you want to check override the scaling mode set by games and program. You have all that. You want to click apply. Then you want to click on size. You want to uncheck enable desktop resizing. If it is checked. And then you want to change this setting to do not report. After that, you want to go up to desktop. Want to enable the develop developer settings. After that, we'll get category named Manage GPU Performance Counters. And then you want to allow access to the GPU performance counters to all users. You want to click Apply. After that, you want to go to Video and you want to adjust your video color settings. The only thing you have to do here is go to advanced and dynamic range to full. 
So that you want to adjust video image settings. You want to change edge enhancement to use the NVIDIA setting. To change noise reduction to NVIDIA setting. You can mess around with these two sliders and see if there's a difference. But I just use zero percent on both. And you want to go up to deinterlacing and you want to uncheck it use first telecine. After you have all that, and click apply. Now you're going to download a program called NVIDIA Profile Inspector. What this does is there's just more hidden settings in here that you can change to ease out a little bit extra performance for you. I will be putting a profile download in the description of this video as well as the program. And how you import a profile is you come here to this bar, and click import user defined profiles. Or profiles then you want to find base profile.nip wherever you downloaded that file and then you open and after that you have to click apply changes for anyone that doesn't want to download the file I will scroll down and can copy all the settings from me There's one thing if you use sync, you'll have to come up here. You'll have to change all of these that say sync on or enabled, whatever the settings are. So you can still use G. After that, you click apply. We're done with everything. Hope you enjoy this video. Tell me what kind of videos you'd like to see me make next. Comments. I'll be seeing you in the next video. Peace.